This video is all about answering the following three questions. How do you import audio into Blender? How do you set Blender up so that when you scrub the animation playhead, the audio scrubs with it? And how do you output a rendered movie in Blender so that it includes that audio? I'm using Blender version 2.62 and it's on a Macintosh. So the first step is obviously getting your audio into Blender. You start by opening the Blender file that you want to import the audio into. You switch from the 3D view to the video sequence editor view. You click the add menu item. You click the sound menu item. Locate the sound file that you want to import into your project then click the add sound strip button. It's important to make sure that the strip starts where you want it to. In my case I want it to start at frame 1. Now to adjust the position in case the audio strip is not where you want it to you just put your mouse pointer over top of the strip, hit the G key to grab it and then move it to the position that you want it to start at. Now that your audio is inside Blender, you will want to be able to match up any animations you have going on with the audio, presumably. The next few steps will show you how to link the playhead scrubbing with the audio that you imported. First, you need to switch back from the video sequence editor view to the 3D view. I expanded the timeline at the bottom a little bit here. You click the playback menu item, you click the audio scrubbing menu item, and now when you scrub the playhead, the audio file will play with it as well. At this point, I'm going to presume that you went ahead and you did your animations and you've linked it up with your sound and everything's groovy and it's now time to output this animation and have the audio included with it. Switch to the Render Properties tab. Click on the File Type drop-down in the Output section. I added a simple test animation to confirm that the rendering is working. Switch to the Output Type switch the output type to QuickTime, click on the video Kodak menu, set the Kodak to H264, click on the audio Kodak drop-down menu, choose the Kodak that is best for your situation. I'd go with uh, AAC here. Now adjust the bitrate to suit your needs. The higher the number, the better the quality, but the bigger the file as well. Make sure you have set where your movie is going to be saved and given the file a name and click on the animation button.